you have to accept from day one. I'm never going to feel like doing the things that I need to do in order to lose the pounds I said I want to lose. What does that mean? That means in order to be successful, I have to accept that I'm going to have to consistently do things that I don't feel like doing. Death to laziness. Now you're getting it. I should have. Where's my death to laziness at? I really should. I don't have a death to laziness hat in here. I really should have a death to laziness hat in here. Bro, you're literally never going to feel like it. So you have to embrace that, right? Here's the other part of laziness. Lazy people talk more than they take action. You talk more than you take action. You get what I'm saying? Take one, action. You talk more than you take. You're never in action mode. You're always talking. You got the script, right? So uh, let's just say, again, um, I, I, I read in a book um, about five, maybe six, seven years ago. Um, this was a book about, um, it was a, from a neuroscientist about how your brain works. And I remember reading in that book and it was like, your brain actually doesn't know the difference between talking about something and actually doing it. So your brain receives the same satisfaction from talking about a goal and constantly tell, like if I, like, let's say if I tell you, yeah, yeah, man, um, yeah, you know I'm about to buy a yacht. Like, yeah, we gonna get this yacht. Yeah, we gonna get this yacht, yet. And I keep saying that. My brain doesn't necessarily know the difference in how it reacts to me talking about something that I want and actually obtaining it. So that means your brain releases certain dopamines because you, like, let's be real, you get excited talking about your goals. This is why you should be careful about sharing your goals. That's that's something, this is, that's extra, this extra credit. I'm giving you extra sauce right now. Don't tell everybody your dreams. All right, you gotta protect that. Why, number one, you gotta protect it from yourself because you're gonna, you're gonna be talking so much that you're not gonna be doing nothing. And it feel good to talk, y'all. Come on, man. Like, like, let's be real. It feels so good to talk. You ever be telling some? Yeah, man. I'm about to. Yeah, so we gonna get the yacht. Then we, uh, you know, we get in the other crib. You feel me? We get in the other crib. No doubt. No. And you feeling good in that conversation? Your brain feel good, and you ain't did nothing. Like you don't got no yacht, bro. Yacht. You don't even have a canoe, buddy. You're barely paying your car note, J. Will, and you're going around telling people that you're going to get a yacht and your brain is releasing dopamines because your brain just, and so it's tricking you. You getting the same feeling chemically in your body from talking about success than actually having it. So you talk more than you take action. That's laziness. That's stopping you from, from having success. Why? I'm going to be real. It's a lot harder to do the work and shut up. Oh, my gosh. I'm not telling you to shut up. I'm a nice guy. But it's way harder just to be quiet and work in silence. Why? We love telling people what we doing. Come on, let's just be real. I like it, too. I want to tell you everything I got going on right now because it's going to feel good. Uh, my brain going to release the dopamine. I'm going to be like, man, we can check that. I feel great. I just told them all my goals. But I'm not telling you. Why? I just got to work. Let my work speak for itself. The problem is we doing a lot of talking. And if anybody took any type of... Um, uh, uh, did a real diagnostic on you to be like, oh, half of the how to, half of the stuff he talk, he he ain't doing. He a talker. He not a he not a doer. He don't take action. So in order to be successful, you have to fall in love with taking action. You got to fall in love with putting some work behind your faith. You get what I'm saying? Like so, faith without works is dead. That works is very important. Faith without action is dead. Work is action. Work means something have to actually be done in order for you to get there. Again, you have a goal. I want to I wanna buy a house, right? You got a goal to buy a house. 
there are some things that it take that that need to be done in order for you to buy a house. You get what I'm saying? So that's how life works. Any goal that you have, it don't have to be buying something. Hey, I have a goal to have a good relationship with my wife. Well, listen here, buddy. Turn off the video game. Oh, that's a stinger. X O O. Turn off the video game, dog. You can't say I got this goal to have this excellent relationship with my wife, but then all you do is work. And then after work, all you do is play your game. Then you go holler at your boys. Then you go hoop. You're doing everything, taking action in every other area of your life. There is no action behind the goal of wanting a better relationship with your wife. Write it down. Oh, my God. Something has to be done about it. You can't be lazy. Hey, let's go on a date. Like, oh, remember, um, pride, okay? You can't be too prideful. If you say you want the better relationship, but your pride is stopping you because you want her or like you the you the husband, you want the wife to, well, I ain't, I ain't gonna take the first step. Like, I need, I need her to wanna, I need her to wanna get better first. Not gonna work, buddy. You're not gonna be successful. It's not gonna happen. So a lot of us, again, in all these this this could relate to any area of your life. You say you want a better relationship with your wife, you want to have a successful marriage, but your pride is stopping you from being the first one to say something. We check that off. You distract it. Oh, that's a good one right there. It's all kind of people in the world, social media, it's all kind of pages. It's uh, it's enough things to keep you distracted and focused on someone else more than any other time in human history. I just got to believe that. That's just a stat that I just made up right here, right on the show. But I believe that it is so easy to be distracted in a marriage, just for man or woman. It's a lot of options out here. Everybody cute, everybody look good, everybody half naked. It's more than enough options out there. Too many options on the menu, distracted. Pride, you don't want to be the first one to say nothing. Laziness, you don't want to put no actions behind your words. Laziness is the number three reason that's keeping you from being successful. All right, number four, this one is going to lose a couple of followers and subscribers. The victim mentality. The victim mentality is preventing you from having success. It's holding you back, fam. Why? Because what's interesting about the victim mentality to me is that the victim mentality is all about creating excuses. Now, creating is such a powerful word to create. In the beginning, God created. I would say creating is one of my most favorite words in the world. Like, I love creating. It's something that that is the likeness of God, right? In the beginning, he created. We were made in his image and likeness, and we have the ability the ability to create. Like, we have the ability to take something, not to create in the, in the way that God created, where he can make something from nothing, but we have the ability to create based on all of the some things he's laid before us. So meaning we could take something from one state and create a new state, right? You could take a um, two feet of, of uh, fabric of cotton and you can make a pair of socks. That's creative, right? So the problem with the victim mentality is that it is misguided cre creativity which means that you create excuses and blame other people and make yourself the victim, right? All the time. Now, I'm not saying that it ain't sometimes other people fought. You feel me? You feel me, Felicia? Like, like I ain't saying it ain't sometimes they fought, but all the time they fought? Yeah, there you go. Get a solution, suggestion, and immediately say, but. And that's the whole thing, right? When you have a victim mentality, you can never actually get to the point where you change. So you can't become successful. 